Hello and uh, welcome to the Tomcat installation training. So let's know what is Apache Tomcat. So Tomcat is one of the application servers which serves our Java based application. So if you see here it, it has been found from Apache so that's why we call it as Apache Tomcat which works in an excellent manner with Apache as a web server. The competitors for Apache Tomcat is uh, JBoss which is one of the nearest competitor. So we will go ahead and uh, install Apache Tomcat today. So Unix Services is an organization where we provide training services at the same time we also provide uh, consulting and remote support in India as well as abroad. So please do contact us and write to us on these below mentioned addresses. So coming back to the training right now I am running uh, my Red Hat <coughs> 7 Enterprise Edition. So I can see that I have already you can see that I have already downloaded um, the Apache Tomcat <coughs> tar zip file and in our previous video we have already installed and configured Java so that is also one of the prerequisite to install Tomcat. Tomcat listens to port number 8080 and uh, we will be configuring this specific Tomcat server 8, the version 8. So I have documentation which is there here so let's just go through the documentation. So here we have an FTP link where you can just download by using wget so which I have already done and uh, I have already uh, downloaded this tar gz file so now we need to extract it so before we extract it let's just try to log in to this uh, machine so we'll say ssh uh, root with the rate of 192, 168. So let's get the IP address of the machine. It's 208. So we have successfully logged into this machine and if we get into home and Krishna and we see that this is where our downloaded file is there. So the next task would be to go ahead and uh, unzip this tar file which we have downloaded so type ls so we are we have this file which is available for us so we will move this content and we will make user tomcat 8 as our home directory so that's where <coughs> we are moving this contents the extracted contents uh, 
and we are creating a user by name tomcat8 and we are defining the home directory as user tomcat and now we need to change the owner of this home directory for this user that is tomcat8 that's what we are doing right now and now every time we start up tomcat we need to run the script so that's where this is where is the location of the script instead of doing that we are defining that information as a service inside the system D so we will just go ahead and define this information and we'll create a system D file and here was the new information which we need to define what it has to do the systemd has to do execute the script For, with the user and group is being defined so pasting that and saving this file And now we need to go ahead and uh, start our service by using systemctl. So let's check out the status. So we can see it is running we need to enable this in the run levels by using this command in previous versions we were using service but in version 7 of red hat we, we are using system ctl so that's all we have done and now we need to cross verify whether our Apache Tomcat is running or not so we will use 192.168.122.208 with port number 8080 so let's um, stop the firewall which is running so by using service system ctl stop firewall d and we'll disable the firewall D <coughs> the same time <coughs> we need to switch off uh, our SC Linux Disable Save it We'll go for a reboot So Unix services 
as an organization we provide um, services which are related to remote support and we provide services we provide corporate training services and support for small and medium business enterprise and we build deploy different types of servers and do server migration build your public and private clouds manage the public and private clouds as well so some of our clients are these whom we have already rendered training and as well as consulting services so let's log in and now let's try to connect and here we go so we have successfully configured Apache Tomcat so our next task here would be to configure any of the application on our Apache Tomcat server so which we will do it on our next upcoming video thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead